main thing with this is try and pick up some different pieces of it um, in a classroom. You think of um, doing wonder walls or questions. Sorry, what was the username? Uh, TM Geelong, all lowercase. TM Geelong. And the password is 2010-2012. No space, but just all those numbers. 20, 2010 and 2012. So um, this is the free version, by the way. So that's why we've got that bit along the bottom. So you can actually use it quite quite well for free. Or if you want to purchase, you know, as most things, you can purchase and get some other uses of it. Okay? So this is my chalkboard and I've just chosen a, a blue background and I can pull it in or push it out. Okay, there. Um, if I go up to the corner where it says to write, I can add text. I can add a picture from the camera or a picture from the photo library. Okay, so I just um, Googled Geelong and found a picture, put it in my photo gallery and then put it on the board. Okay, it also allows you to add text to the photo as well. Um, with that, you can move the picture around, of course, put it on your board where you want to put it, and um, move your board around a bit, lots more. So it works in a lot of ways a lot like Warwisher. Who's used Warwisher before? So it's very much like Warwisher sort of thing, except I don't think Warwisher works on iPads or iPhones or anything, whereas this works across all your different ones. Okay. If I'm using this with a class, we have a class account, and these are our class boards. So I might say, that group over there, will you make a board for this purpose, and you might make a board this group for a different purpose, okay? And then we'll use all the different boards at different times for different things, okay? And that will be where all our notice boards are, our wonder walls are, our um, ideas we've got about things, okay? So I'd like you to go on this one, and I've just put up a picture here about um, I like the bollards at Geelong. Um, I'd like you to put a sticky note on there somewhere and put on it a question about the bollards because I've been wondering about these bollards at Geelong. So if you'd like to put a sticky note on there and we'll see what questions we come up about the bollards. Who's seen them? Yep, good. Okay. Some questions about them. I've been wondering lots of things about the bollards. And, you know, we quite often do this with kids. Mm. We either have sticky notes or things like that, and this is great because they can revisit this all the time at their desk where they are, uh, wherever they are, at home or wherever. And of course, on an iPad, you know, quick, um, take a screenshot of it, and you don't have to go online now, you've got that in your photo gallery, you've got the, the wonder wall in your photo gallery on your iPad, so if you go home with your iPad and you haven't got Wi-Fi there, you can still look at the wonder wall or whatever you've got there, okay? I guess if you're on a computer, you can still take a screenshot of it and have it there if you're offline as well. You'll be able to look at it as a resource. Okay. So, um, just tap off. It's better, isn't it? Now you can see it. So I've got some great uh, questions coming on there. You can double tap and move any, any of them. And push them around on the board. Okay. Do you want to have a go at adding a picture of some sort on there? Perhaps you can go off and do a little Google yourself of uh, Geelong, see what else you can put on there, and see how easy it is to add a picture. So if I go down here to Safari, now what do you know, I just have to have some Geelong images here that I prepared earlier. <laughs> and um, you don't want these nasty ones, though. They're a bit nasty, though. Some of them down the bottom. Show me one.
put on a notice on the board. You can also get email notifications when something has been added to the board. So if kids have set homework or whatever, you'll get some email notifications saying that this has been added to the board or that's been added to the board, and things like that. Okay? Um, one activity I did uh, at one stage was we had um, a whole lot of uh, ideas put on there and then we sorted them. So we, we were basically uh, moving these around on the board and getting all the ones that were similar together and it was so easy just to move things around and suddenly we had groups of ideas. So it's really great for doing that as well as to be able to sort, sort around all your ideas of it. Is there anyone got any questions about it? No? So it's called Lino. Um, you can do a lot more than what I've shown you with it. Um, you can make groups and do all sorts of things with it. So I've used it on a very basic scale, just with one username, one password for the class, so they don't have to individually log in and log off and everything. But it's been pretty easy to use. Um, go back to my canvas. Have a go at making a new canvas. And um, see how have a go at doing a new canvas. Go up here. New canvas. You can name your canvas. Different backgrounds. You've got a choice of backgrounds. Or you can go to custom and you can even choose a picture for your background, of course, and add that. Um, and there are different things here that you can select in the preferences. Uh, so even generate an RSS for this canvas. So it's got lots of potential, lots of things that you can actually use it for. It's a free app. And plus, because you can have it on any device, whether you be on a netbook, a laptop, desktop, an iPad, and it makes it really user-friendly, which is the best thing I like about things when they really go across-platform. Thank you.